All right, guys. I'm here to talk about modifications to the Bugs B2W Wi-Fi card. Everybody likes the image, but they don't like the lag, and they don't like how it cuts out the long reconnect times. Um, my power wires are unsoldered, so this is where the wires come out and go up on the board. In case you don't already know, the orientation of this thing. Pop this up. I'm actually using the phone holder on the controller. Let's do this right now. Bear with me, I'm a retard. So, I guess you can see here how oh, I got my dual battery stuffed in there too. Hence the reason I have this mounted externally, because there's not room for those two batteries and this Wi-Fi card. But I'm glad I did that because with this out, it gave me a chance, you know, I pulled these antennas out. It really showed me the way they had these things set up in there it was about like that. And they're hot glued into the bottom of the bugs. So when you get the bugs out their ways, even like a couple hundred meters, ends up like that, facing you, and these are back behind, you have zero signal. And being Wi-Fi, when you finally get the thing back, usually you bring it back because you think something's wrong or you're just waiting for it to connect. You hit return to home if you can't really see where it's at and it comes back overhead. Then you have signal because it takes a long time to reconnect the Wi-Fi. But if you don't lose that for any amount of time, it's great. So these, somebody had asked me, where do you solder the new antennas to? There's no soldering needed. Check that out. They're just little sockets. So, I would imagine that you could drill holes through the bottom of the bugs to access those if you were to carefully make sure you don't drill over and screw these up. And then you could run other holes in the side of the bugs and feed those wires in and pop them down. See those wires? I'm talking about this right here. Cloverleaf antennas. Amazon, like, I don't remember how much. They were like, I don't know, around 10 bucks. Even if they were 30, it's worth it. So, these just snap on there. It's hard to do with the camera in my face, but they're really pretty simple. I'm using my phone on my controller, a little holder thing. I think I already said that. So, yeah, really simple. Very simple. And these outrange the controller and so basically how it would look would be you'd have your wires coming out the bird right there and you could run them out the side like I do or you could get some ones with some longer leads um, and run one on top or two on top it doesn't really matter whatever whatever suits you but like I said this this is the best the best mod that I've done this. This 1080 video is absolutely beautiful. I couldn't deal with the lag before. I'd have like up to a second of lag. And it cut out. I, I didn't like waiting for it to reconnect. It was terrible. With this, it's almost instant. It almost feels like... It almost feels like my analog setup. Um, I got it upside down because I'm limited on space here. But that's a 200 milliwatt. And... This definitely does as well as the 200. Now, it was garbage before. It was like the 25 milliwatt before. So, like I said, maybe not even not even a half a second of latency. I think, and and within 500 meters, you start getting out further, and it gets a little different. But then again, I'm over. I'm over thousands. I'm f literally flying over thousands of Wi-Fi signals because I'm in the city. And there's all these trailer parks around and stuff. And um, yeah, so I haven't tried this out in the middle of nowhere yet. I, I imagine it's phenomenal. But in densely populated city with all these Wi-Fi signals, it's it's really doing great. So out of all the things I've done, I've even put on a 600 milliwatt. This is the absolute best. I guarantee you will not be disappointed, unless you drill through your card in the process, but you will not be disappointed if you buy these, or even better, but these are just little tiny, tiny things. Um, you know, for reference, you know, they're, they're really small. 
I was concerned when I got them out of the box. All oh, these things are tiny. I wonder if they're going to be okay. Freaking phenomenal. Do it. Just buy it.